what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i don't know what day this is or when this is i know when it's gonna come out but i don't know what day it's gonna what day <laughs> for you guys i'm recording this on sunday so i don't know what to tell you but in any case thank you guys so much for watching my high reactions man off bat i gotta let you guys know that anyways we're in season two we're gonna be doing episode seven and eight today hope you guys are having a grand time watching these reactions man i'm enjoying this the team is evolving and i'm looking forward to see what they're going to do next hinata kageyama bit of a scu scuffle in the last reaction they you know you know they, they, they're gonna come to an understanding because i think they can be the top of the top you know what i'm saying i think they can be very formidable and really destroy people in the tournament that's coming up but they have to evolve they have to learn from all of these teams that they're practicing with and take things from them i love that tempo thing never heard of it before i understand what he was saying maybe they just put a name to it but in volleyball there is a way to approach certain things like what coach ukai was trying to teach hinata as in you have to uh, you have to go with the flow basically in in in, in very layman's terms is going going with the flow you know what i'm saying you don't always got to be going full speed all the time and that's the thing that's been the crutch for hinata is as he's always going full speed all the time and it looks really cool but as i said people will adapt teams will adapt to that they see it long enough they will adapt to it what's going to happen when somebody is just as fast as you you're not going to be able to spike the ball suppose kageyama make a mistake he's not perfect suppose he makes a mistake how are you going to adjust damn eyes closed what are you going to do so i'm glad that he's adamant on changing that about himself practice 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 i love it i love it i love it anyways that is all i have to say here thank you guys for watching the intro appreciate y'all leave a like i'll catch you guys for the review all right so here we are hi q um, I don't know why I switched to that. This is what I'm supposed to switch to. <laughs> Anyways, um, that was awesome, man. Two episodes about Tsukishima. And it's just, it, it's a will thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a will thing. It's will. It's, it's willpower. It's, it's to know. You know what I'm saying? To know when it comes on to, to, um, to Tsukishima. The things that he went through. You know, seeing his brother in such a lame state can explain a lot about his demeanor now. Because he was a very happy little boy around his uh, around his older brother. And to see his brother in a position like that, he lied to him too. Um, and I know his brother didn't have any bad intentions towards telling him these lies. But at the same time, he should not have lied like that to his little brother because the thing about it is that now Tsukishima now has to find his own way. He has to find his own way now. Um, and you can understand what his demeanor is. It's like, why practice, practice, practice if I'm if, I, if there's a possibility we're never going to win. And that's that's the thing. That's the thing about driven people, driven people. You know what I'm saying? We always going to strive to be to to be at the top. We're always going to strive to be at the top. And that's what it is. That's what it is. I don't care how long it takes me to get there. I don't care if I never if I never get to the top for the rest of my life. I'm still going to strive to get to the top. That's how people get to the top. Okay? So I'm glad that he's realized that now the moment because it's very true. In sports you get that moment that first goal you know what I'm saying that first run whatever it is that first win it's a joy man whether it's be for the individual whether it's be after it happens your teammates come crowding around you yeah, celebrating with you it's that moment you know what I'm saying? Like some people, you know, you go into sports, especially in schools. There's a lot of people that just do it just because you get what I'm saying. It could be just because 
you know, all my family members did it. You know what I mean? But you don't you don't have that love for it. You get what I'm saying? You don't have that particular love. It could be just an extracurricular activity at school that you just decided to do. It could just be, oh, I'm just doing this just because it's required or I'm just trying to get a passing grade, whatever the situation is. And then you end up loving the sport because you have that moment. You know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing that they talked about it during the episode, so I'm guessing eventually Tsukishima is going to have that moment where he falls in love with volleyball. I don't think he's there yet, but I think it's going to be something of the sort. I don't know. Maybe they're going to highlight it. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But at the same time, Tsukishima, to me, is one of the more deeper characters in the show that, you know, that I'm really excited to see him play because I think he's... In some ways, he's the missing piece on the team. He's the lonely bird all by himself. You know what I'm saying? And don't really care. And I'm glad that, you know, he's asking these questions. He's questioning these things because he's like, I don't have that kind of motivation. What, you know, is within you that I don't have that motivates you so much to just push to go to the top, to the top, to the top, no matter how many times you fall? I mean... To have the kind of attitude that Inata has, trust me, is you'll find more people that's like Tsukishima that are, is more relatable to Tsukishima than Hinata. People who are high strung like Hinata and just like they look at everything like an opportunity or a smiling, optimistic, is like, oh, bring it on, bring it on. You don't find a lot of people who are like that, especially in today's in today's society you don't find a lot of people because people once they experience life and not, and life knock them down one or two times they, they give up they give up you know what i mean and trust me me with a a, a life I, I, i'm i'm literally my life is it's just failures 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 and a little bit of success that's my life and with those failures, I've learned from those failures to give me success. But the success that I have is so much greater than the failures that, I, that I've that i had. You get what I'm saying? That it overshadows all of that failure. So I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to step out of the box. I'm not afraid to do these things and try new things and to try to get good at something. Even though it may knock me down. Even though I might even lose money. I still go after it you know what i'm saying so i just want you guys to know that um that i appreciate y'all man i love this story i was going right now everybody's improving and this is good for them i think they're going to go to the spring tournament and really do some damage from all the stuff that they learn in synchronized attack all this other stuff synchronized attack is something that is actually in real life to um real life volleyball synchronized attack um, because it's hard to tell who's going to get the ball based on a synchronized attack. Um, the tempo thing was a little bit new to me from the last reaction. That was a bit new to me. I, you know, the term is new to me. But from what he described it as what it is, it's very practical. It's a very practical thing. It's just that they put a name to it, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe that's what they named it in Japan. You know what I'm saying? But from my volleyball's perspective, from what I've learned, I never learned it as tempo. You get what I'm saying? But it's a very practical thing in volleyball that you need to learn and master also. Um, you know, but these are high school kids. You know what I mean? They're high school kids. You, they're not going to give you all the things w w w um, in the show. They're not going to give you all the juicy stuff. You get what I'm saying? They want you to, they want you to build and learn about this team, their personalities, their characters, all of that good stuff. They want you to learn that stuff and they want to build this team up. You know, if they had all the skills from the get-go, how long would this show last? I mean, they're in their fourth season right now and it's a very popular show. So they have to take it at, at you know, little by little and get this team there, you know, and every time they, they um, you know, get to a certain point or whatever, we're going to be right there with them because we're Karasuna all the way. Love you guys so much. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment on these videos before you leave. And also, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I'm out. Peace!